Hey YouTube, so um, I wore my hair in a Bantu knot out today. Um, you know, I didn't fell asleep already on this, but of course I had to get up and do my hair before I went to bed. But what I'm going to do is um, re-knot it up so I can um, have some knots for tomorrow. Uh, what I used was olive oil smooth and cold pudding. And I was also using my um, Karen's Body Beautiful Creamy Licious. So I'm just going to um, uh, re-knot my hair up and for tomorrow. So. And I think, honestly, I think I want to keep some length in the back. So I think I'm actually going to braid the back, braid it and put some rods on the ends for the back. So. Yeah, I'm just using a little bit of product because my hair never dries. And this is slightly wet, you know, when you use it. If you've never used it before, um, there you go. It's like the, like the consistency of yogurt, so. I just like to get a little bit extra on my ends. And honestly, I don't even know if I need to use the Karen's Body Beautiful again tonight. Uh, you know, my hair, it holds on the product, so. But I'll use it anyway. I just use a, like a little tiny finger full. So I'm actually going to braid this tonight, the back part. You know, I'm not even going to braid it all the way to the end. I'm just going to put a rod on there. Hmm. I'll go with the white tonight. Same thing, other side, so. Little tiny finger full, Karen's body beautiful. I don't know if anybody's going to the um, the Natural Hair Expo in Cleveland next month, but I sure hope uh, one of the vendors is going to be Karen's body beautiful. I already expect to get some stuff from um, GrowBlackHair.net because I know she's going to be a vendor there, so I plan on stopping by her booth. And picking up some of her products. Um, I think she's got a caramel, uh, you know, curling soup, uh, caramel, what is it called? Caramel curling souffle that she has that I wanted to try. And she's got some other, like, um, she's got a product called Satin Curls that I wanted to try. But, you know, here in Jackson, you know, Jackson is not natural hair friendly at all. And that one didn't have a thing on there, so can't ride your hair unless you got the little thing on there. But Jackson is a natural hair friendly. And, um, so I, I can't, I have not been able to find any place to get Karen's Body Beautiful here in Jackson, Michigan. So hopefully she'll have a, a booth there in Cleveland because otherwise I have to order and pay for shipping. And I'm really not looking forward to doing that. But if she has a um, booth, then I'm going to try and get a couple more of the Creamy Licious. This is the uh, pomegranate guava. You know, it smells real good. I mean, I'm not really big on stuff, you know, like the smell of stuff. I really don't care as long as it don't stink. But it smells good, and I love the way it works. And then the um, um, 
Sweet Ambrosia. I like that. So, all right. So this one I'm gonna bend to that. Let me see if I can't get this hair out the way for you, so you can see how I do it. All right. I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna do three here in this row. So they're not really small. So I'll put my smooth and hold pudding on there. Make sure I have some on the ends. My Karen's body beautiful. And in case you've never used that before or never seen any of the old videos where I use that, that Karen's body beautiful. Like it looks like like a frosting, like a jar of frosting. So these I'm gonna do like in a two strand twist band two nut. So And I still kind of back twist my twist as I'm going. All right, twist the end. So this, I'm going to twist it on itself. I actually still twist it on itself as I'm twisting it around. And as long as my hair ain't straightened or anything like that, it'll generally stay tucked all night. So I'm just going to finish my hair up, and then I'll come back when it's done to show you what it looks like before I go to bed. Okay, so I'm coming to the end, and what I've done differently is um, I kind of want my hair to separate a little bit. So I flat twisted these over and bantu out at the ends, and I'm going to do the same up here so this can kind of go this way so same sort of thing so the whole pudding Aaron's body beautiful creamy luscious just two strand flat twist this kind of down into the side So I can show you up close here. So I, I was twisting this way. So I'm going to keep twisting. And whichever way it starts to turn is the way I do my knot. And I keep rolling it. I don't know, it just seems to give me like a tighter curl if I do it that way. So all done so far. It looks like um, I didn't need to put in any bobby pins or anything like that. So. It's going to tie my head up tonight, and I will be back in the morning to take it down. Hey YouTube, so it's morning. I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know if you can hear that rain. Which means that by the time I get out of work, I'm just going to have a regular fro. So, you know, not that I don't like a regular fro. It's just that when you spend, you know, it only took me like 20 minutes to do my Bantu knots all together. But, you know, you do all your hard work at night. And then the next day it's raining cats and dogs. I mean, it's raining hard. It's, it's hard. I 
Oh, good. That's what I wanted. I wanted this side to stretch out and still have some curl at the end. So, I mean, I wanted the back to stretch out and still have curl at the end, and that's what happened there. Now the rest I'm just going to take out and separate. And now, I don't know, I'm going to have to pin it up or something. Or just take some bobby pins and work with me. So that, uh, when it starts to, so that, uh, you know, it's going to start to pop out. Oh, and it's real nice and soft. That's what, I mean, I really like the Karen Friday Beautiful stuff. It's really nice and soft. Now these I'm just going to, you know, untwist them to get them out. And I get good, like a really good ringlet when I do my Bantu knots. So. So those came out pretty good. And then I'm just going to take, take them and separate them. These came out pretty much exactly like I wanted them. It's just too bad they won't be that way by the end of the day now. But, you know. You never know what the weather's going to well, I probably could have looked at the news last night, but no, I think I did look at it. I don't recall it saying it was going to pour down. I knew it was supposed to rain, but man. Uh, uh, separate those parts a little bit. With the exception of the fact that I really want to go get my hair cut, this came out pretty perfect. So, thanks for watching.